Hey friends, so the day has finally come and I'm moving out and back in with my family. I used to live near St. Catharines for school. I went to Brock University and graduated from a four-year program. Well, my convocation is in like a few days, but yeah, that was my old room. Um, I used to live in the basement, it was really cold. Side note, I hated this landlord, but you know what? All the bullshit I went through with like roommates and shit like that was so worth it because the good times me and my one friend had in the city were crazy. There's also so much scenery spots you could just pull up to and watch the sunset or the sunrise. So I really, really love that about this city. Like, I definitely will be back. I'm not saying bye to St. Catharines forever. Um, just on to the next chapter, you know. Come with me to get some nail supplies. I'm doing my friend's nails for Caravana, so I had to get a few things just to, you know, fit the look that she was going for. Um, if you guys want to see what those end up looking like, actually, fly to my IG. I posted them closer. I think it was on Caravana day, like, the 31st. Whatever, anyways. I wanted to show you guys this store. Like, there's so much stuff in here. I didn't even know they had um, lash extension, like, materials and shit which is so cool because I usually order them off of Amazon and it's like a gamble every time. AliExpress, girl, even worse, let me tell you. But all their stuff is fairly priced, so I actually really like it here. And um, they have nail tips, like all different kinds. Plus they even have the Kiara Sky jelly tips. I've never tried jelly nails, but if I wanted to, girl, I could like, look at all these materials. Sea moss, let's talk about it. So if you've never heard of sea moss, it's basically a red algae, also known as Irish moss. If you're like Caribbean or you know Jamaican or anything like that, it's probably more commonly known as Irish moss. What the fuck is it? What does it do? I wanted to talk about this because I recently started doing research on what sea moss is and how it came to be and what it does for your body. And then I went out and purchased sea moss and I've just noticed so much changes in my body, it's ridiculous. So like, I just have to tell you guys because if you don't know, then now you know. You can't say you don't have the knowledge because I'm giving it to you. Your body requires 102 minerals to operate like day-to-day -day function. Sea moss contains 92 of those 102 minerals. So you can pretty much imagine it's good for almost everything. So sea moss is a superfood and Dr. Sebi actually has a lot of research done and even said a few things about sea moss. So Dr. Sebi say says that sea moss comes from the ocean and it locks onto a rock and from that rock it receives its nutrients. So um, nutrients aka minerals. So just imagine like anything that's growing straight from the earth, like obviously it's going to be good for you. But the difference between sea moss is that it grows in the sea, like literally sea moss. <laughs> It grows in the water, okay? It usually grows in warmer waters near like the coast. Basically, sea moss is really, really good at removing excess mucus in your body. So that basically just boosts your immunity. It helps hydrate your muscles and organs. It helps with muscle recovery. So like if you're a working out gal like me, obviously you want to be taking things that you know will help with muscle recovery, bring enough blood and oxygen and things like that to your muscles your muscles literally grow in your sleep by like your body doing what it needs to do to repair all those tears in those muscles so that they can grow bigger and bigger and bigger i'm just gonna list a whole bunch of shit that you may or may not find interesting about sea moss and like specifically how it targets different regions in your body thyroid let's talk about it your thyroid hormones control every piece of energy that your body uses so it affects every organ and your thyroid is actually in your throat so it's in your throat chakra so i actually did not know that before doing this research which is pretty interesting the iodine or iodine i don't know how the fuck you say it but basically a mineral in sea moss helps with your thyroid health and your thyroid um because it controls all the energy you receive in your body like for example i've noticed since taking sea moss i'm not as tired anymore I used to have to nap at least once a day, like at least. If it's a good day, I get to nap twice, but at least once a day because I don't know, I just couldn't stay awake all day. I don't know, it's just a habit. I guess I developed from high school, but I literally started taking CMOS and like doing it consistently for two weeks before I decided to come on the internet and share my fucking findings. I had to make sure I was doing it long enough to actually be like, okay, like I know that this could, like this is the only thing I've changed within the last month been taking it for a month now um so like i know that you know what i mean this has something to do with it so yeah i'm able to stay awake all fucking day it seems so silly but it's just something that i've noticed i guess it also helps with your lung health so on my smokers out there it basically just helps remove excess mucus in your lungs so 
when you smoke obviously you tarnish your lungs i'm not promoting or telling you to smoke or not to smoke but that's just the way it is and mucus basically invites pathogens in your body and fights off antigens diseases come in your body and you have excess mucus in your body it'll lock onto that mucus and grow from there so like it's bad <laughs> you don't want excess mucus in your body really important for lung health that's actually why i started getting into it because i smoke i usually take sea moss and mullen mullen is a herb that helps remove excess mucus specifically in your lungs and your throat so like your entire respiratory system like exactly what it targets so i will drink my mullen tea and i'll put like sea moss in it i'll also tell you how to make sea moss if you stay tuned if you're interested very good for my smoking gyaldem gyaldems mandems i don't like the way mouth mandem sounds but i like the way galdem sounds whatever if you're a human being and you smoke it's good for you i can't say the same for cigarettes because if you smoke cigarettes stop but you know what i'm not promoting anything on this channel do what you want CMOS also promotes brain health, digestion, helps with your metabolism, helps boost your immune system. It's also a hormone balancer <laughs> and it helps with your sexual libido. So it raises like sex drive and stuff like that. Again, I actually didn't know that before taking CMOS, but like I said, I can't really tell you that I've noticed a difference in my sex drive since I've taken it because I've literally, I wanted to take it for my lung health, for muscle recovery, for literally everything else that this is supposed to help you with. So I actually just didn't even think to pay attention to be like, oh, I wonder if, you know, but yeah, fun facts. If you take some CMOS, <laughs> if you're of age. Anyway, how do you use it? How, how the fuck do you get, like, I'll show you what CMOS looks like straight out of the fucking ocean. And then I'll show you by the end of this video, but I'll also put a little thing here. Oh, like, what it looks like when you actually make it. It looks like... It looks like a spirally... I don't even know how to... <laughs> it's just spirally and weird looking, okay? It looks like tentacles i don't know you turn sea moss into sea moss gel i for example have recently started just taking it raw oh it's my dog hello <sighs> where was i you can make sea moss into sea moss gel that way you can basically add it into like everything and you can eat it just like that in this gel form which is what i've recently started doing shout out to my uncle he knows about holistic healing and he eats and treats his body a certain way so that he like he's never been sick he'll literally live forever he doesn't have a single wrinkle on his body he's like 40 something like i don't know i just that's my idol right there my uncle but yeah you can just eat it just like that if you want to it's not very delicious motherfucking it's sea moss it literally tastes like sea water like it's not it's not that tasty but that's not why we do this we're not here for the taste buds we're here for the benefits okay you can also put it in tea smoothies not fucking everything like i will take a spoonful and then i'll put two spoonfuls in my tea and then i'll do that maybe twice a day like at the beginning of the day at the end of the day to put it in your cooking like sometimes when i make stuff that is like saucy like pasta or like curry or something like that like i'll put a few tablespoons of tea, mo tea moss I'll put a few tablespoons of sea moss in my food. It doesn't change the taste when I cook with it because like I'm cooking like hello, it's gonna be delicious. Like there's so much spices and yumminess in my food. Like I can't taste the sea moss by the end. But you know what's actually hilarious? You know what helps me? Sometimes I think of it like taking a shot because I put it in like a spoon, like a teaspoon. I take like maybe three to four teaspoons a day, whether it's in my tea or just like straight like that and i'll like put it put the teaspoon in my mouth put it in the back of my throat to try to skip my tongue and taste buds and swallow that shit so that is exactly how i drink liquor because i hate it and it tastes disgusting but yeah this isn't about me getting drunk disclaimer you have to be very careful with cmos because there's a lot of gmo cmos on the internet People um, recently, especially, I noticed that it, it became a little bit popular on TikTok with some of the people that I was following. Like, if you know Jay Kaizen or Celestial Embodiment, and I don't know his name right now. I'll put the ads if you're curious, but um, it became kind of popular and trending on TikTok for like a very small community. And when that happened, I noticed that a lot of the CMOS on the market was GMO, like it was shit like pre-made CMOS gel and they wouldn't tell you the ingredients on the bottle 
or it would be like capsules that they sell like little pills but it's filled with like sea moss powder also no ingredients um so yeah i just decided to i buy mine off etsy i'll also put the link to where i get mine um, down below you have to be very careful because if you are interested in buying and taking sea moss i would recommend getting it in its purest form so like buying it as sea moss and making it into gel or if you want to try to make it into like powdered capsules i don't i don't know how to do that but by all means, just buy it in its raw form and then make whatever you want to make out of it. Because more times when you buy it and it's already made into something, it has a whole bunch of shit in it. Preservatives especially to keep it fresh because sea moss usually will only last two to three weeks in your fridge. I'm on my third week now and I should show you guys the bottle that I have because... Girl, I'm going to start eating 14 tablespoons a day so I can finish it. But um, I did freeze some also so like I have that and in the freezer it'll last for up to like two to three months which is cool. But yeah... I will show you guys how I make my sea moss. Mm. Okay, so I'm just gonna gather all my materials. Here I have my sea moss in its pure form. I have limes for cleaning, obviously a knife and a lime lemon squeezer. I have natural spring water. That's what I use to rinse my sea moss. I prefer to use spring water because I know that it's clean water rather than my tap because at least I can taste the difference. So right now I'm just rinsing it. I'm just gonna rinse my sea moss a few times. Um, as you can see in the bottom of the bowl, like it comes pretty dirty, like it's from the sea. <laughs> so you gotta rinse it a few times. But yeah, this is what I was talking about when I said that it looks weird. Like it looks like, oh, like tentacles. It like, looks like veins or like your nervous system, but like, all in a bowl, like very weird. And it comes in lots of colors too. It's usually yellow, purple, or sometimes like a rosy reddish color but it doesn't really matter the color honestly at least from what i've researched I'm just gonna rinse your sea moss and then you're gonna fill your container with spring water put some lemons limes in there whatever you have i prefer using key limes which is more alkaline but i don't think it really matters you just have to clean your sea moss and then i'm gonna cover it and come back in 24 hours Okay, so my sea moss has been soaking for 24 hours. As you can see, it has expanded a lot, which is really good. That's what we want. I'm just gonna blend it. I usually put one cup of sea moss, two cups of water. I wanted to make it real jelly rather than like thick so I could actually like eat it by the spoonful. But yeah, I just found some random ass containers in my house that nobody was using and filled them up. I put the plastic ones in the freezer, gave one away to my uncle and kept the other one. Probably like halfway through that now, but it's been about three weeks. So I'm gonna have to um, toss it out and use the frozen ones, but yeah. I hope you guys learned something cool today. Moss has just changed my body. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe someone else is having the same issues I am. So let me just hop on here and put you guys on. Mrs. Put them on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll link everything in the description below in case you're curious. I'll even put where I got most of my information because no, I did not know this shit off the top of my head. <laughs> um, but at least not some of it. Like, what the hell is a thyroid? I actually did not know that before researching all this shit. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Tune in next week. I'm trying to be more consistent with the posting schedule. But you know, life. A bitch got a job, a bitch got a dog, a bitch got a life responsibilities <laughs> you feel me but you'll definitely be seeing me a little bit more on this app so prepare yourself grab your popcorn subscribe make sure you turn that little bell on so you know every time i post and yeah i'll see you next time